ਡਾਕਟਰ ਅਲੀ ਕਨਾਨੀ ਆਰਥੋਡੋਂਟਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਸਰਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਿਸਟ ਹਨ ਜੋ ਹਰ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਦੰਦਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੋਲਵ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਆਰਥੋਕੈਟ ਆਈਕਿਊ ਦੇ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਰ ਗਾਈਡਡ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਟਿਮਲ ਬ੍ਰੈਕਟ ਪਲੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ mini stainless steel braces gold braces clear braces te invisal line system bhi uplabdh hai jekar bachya nu khana chawan vich mushkil aandi hai speech problems ya abnormal bites han ta poncho dr ali knani kol creating beautiful smiles ilaj karao te air miles vi pao kamaima college school of nursing bc de registered healthcare assistant training provider han inna kol vidyarthiyan nu uch miyar di vidya den layi vachanbadh certified teachers han resident care aide healthcare assistant long term care aide home support worker internationally educated nurse licensure preparation prenatal classes and other nursing workshops pctie to manyata prapt kamaima college nu call karo 6045935178 ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਰਦਿਕ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਥਾਮਸ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਹਨ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦੇ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦਾ ਤਿਉਹਾਰ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਬੜੀ ਮਹੱਤਤਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਈਸਾਈ ਭਰਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਆਓ ਇਸ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਝ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰੀਏ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਨਾਲ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ thank you for having me here hard to welcome mm-hmm. so let's start off with the history of christmas mm-hmm. if you can take us back and uh, let us know because it's a joyous uh, occasion and uh, right now there's a festive mood all around and people are celebrating so what actually is christmas well we realize if from a biblical perspective we need to have a true understanding the origin of christmas because christmas supposed to be the celebration <laughs> of the birth of jesus christ right and there's nowhere recorded in in the sacred writings that christ was born in December. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, as the books of the prophets begin like in Micah, Malachi, uh Daniel, these prophetic books begin to tell us mm-hmm. exactly the very beginning of Christ's life, but it never pinpointed mm-hmm. his birth. And but I mean as far as uh, uh, as far as the exact date, etc. But it did pinpoint the season. Mm-hmm. and where in Bethlehem right and when you understand the scripture in the book of the gospel Matthew John special Matthew record this it's in the new testament mm-hmm. that the shepherd was out attending sheep right so it could not be in the winter time mm-hmm. when Christ was born it had to be during during what we call the the fall season mm-hmm. early part of it and when we talk about passover we talk about uh, the feast of unleavened bread And so the scripture is very clear that it was not December. Okay. So that is very clear. Mhm. And so when we realize Christmas it means Christ mass. Right. And that goes all the way back into what we call the Chaldeans or the uh which might be the Babylonian customs. Mhm. Uh in the book of Genesis 11 it talks about a man by the name of Nimrod. Right. A mighty hunter before God. Mhm. and the for that means that he was a mighty hunter not a hunter of animals but he was a hunter of men and he was the one that built one of the first what you might call hierarchical political structure mm-hmm. and the myth goes on that Nimrod when he passed off the scene right uh the fact is is that uh, uh there's another uh understanding of what they call Semiramis or Tammuz mm-hmm. and Nimrod was worshiped as a sun god okay and the fact he had had, had a son a tammuz and the fact is they dated that his birth was december <laughs> and as that was celebrated was to worship the rising of the sun of uh, the solus area and so tammuz became uh, which a epitome of society saying okay tammuz was a representative of this sun god <laughs> then they begin to attach it christmas but that not only goes back from that time but it also extend to within the very doctrines of the church okay uh within what we might call the christian church but begin within the catholic church mm-hmm. because mass christmas to right. celebrate the mass of christ mm-hmm. and this tradition began to perpetuate itself get into protestantism and it became embraced mm-hmm. as a time to celebrate christ but no one could say that it was christ's birthday right and the fact is is that it was mainly what we call a worship of human deity mm-hmm. that was attached to it and that's one phase of of the idea of christmas then that's okay. other i can move on from okay. there okay yeah. so if december is not the date then why in december is the celebrated then because we find then it goes back to the solstice the sun 
deals with the, the, the how the sun moved within the solar system. Mm -hmm. And so since Nimrod was worshipped as a sun god, okay. and sun is definitely supposed to be a giver of life. Right. You know, everything's supposed to derive from the sun. Mm -hmm. But when I go back as a Christian and as a physician, mm -hmm. back to the book of Genesis, when I study the book of Genesis, I find that the sun was created on the fourth day mm -hmm. and not on the first day. And so even though the sun is very important to life, but it's not the source of life. Okay. God is the source of life. Right. And we, we, we are blessed by those uh, natural things. Mm -hmm. So it's because of the winter solace. Okay. And so because it's supposed to be a time that things are, you know, they are resting. Right. But we're looking forward for the spring. Mm -hmm. And that's why Chris, December was that day. Right. Yeah. So by celebrations, which we are having now, mm -hmm. what we should need to learn from it, because right, celebrations are very important, rituals yeah. are important, mm -hmm. but what is happening over the years, we are finding it's becoming more and more commercialized, what? and uh, mm -hmm. the concept of Santa Claus, I'll touch later on, yeah. but what is the basic message which one needs to learn from this? Uh, well, one of the things is the fact that, just say, uh, Harper, if, uh, hypothetically, if and which is not, mm -hmm. I'm just stating that December was a birth of Christ, which is very clear is not. Nowhere right. uh, in the secular writings mm -hmm. or, 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 the, or the sacred writings that you can pinpoint mm -hmm. that. And so we find then that, as you know, tradition and customs where people are bound to worship something. We, we are created to worship right. something. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned the word, it has become so commercialized because prior to that, that was to bring people into what we call uh, a mindset to give, mm -hmm. to receive, mm -hmm. and that really perpetuated through the whole church, church doctrine right. is the fact that this is a day of giving. Yeah. This is a day of giving. Mm -hmm. And um, I have no problem of giving, but when it is um, predicated upon an, a, a myth or illusion mm -hmm. that you are given because of Christ's birthday, then that's deception. Mm -hmm. So we began to become commercialized because it's during that time of year that everybody's supposed to be in a given spirit, mm -hmm. but at the same time, within the American population, that is a time when people commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Most suicide are committed during the time of Christmas because people are looking to receive. Right. And, 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 and a lot of folks are lonely and they are not able to give. And, right. the, and the fact is, suicide rates increase. So basically, mm -hmm. what we need to learn from this is that First of all, Christmas mm -hmm. is not the celebration of Christ's birthday. Okay. But it is a, t is a season that man has earmarked, and if a person wants to celebrate that, mm -hmm. then let's, let's be honest. You know, it's a, it's a time that we need to just take advantage of this time mm -hmm. where people have needs. Right. Instead of me looking to receive, mm -hmm. which I, I, I live 365 days of trying to share my my, my blessing with others. Right. If, if we're going to get into this situation, into this celebration or this holiday season, which I'm not going to knock that, mm -hmm. but the motives and the reason for it right. need to be clearly understood. Mm -hmm. That, okay, here's a date that was not established based on biblical principles. Mm -hmm. Man established this, that there was some other underlying reason. Mm -hmm. But okay, since this is time, clothes, stores are closed, people are in a move of receiving. So let's use it to help the needy. Others, right. Let's those who are less, who are unfortunate. Mm -hmm. it, that's that's the lesson I would gain out of that. Uh, in my family, uh, I basically don't celebrate Chris, Christmas mm -hmm. myself, uh, but because of the season, I use it as opportunity mm -hmm. of sharing. Right. Sharing region, and caring. That's right. Sharing that's and caring. What, that's right. what I do. And I, uh, I invite the people who are less fortunate right. to my house, okay. or I bake bread, or. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a lot to be thankful for. So in right. instead of me looking for a gift, mm -hmm. I'm going to give myself a thank offering to right. the Lord. Like you mentioned that in America, this is a time when the suicide level goes yes. so high because it's probably, a, uh, you know, one feels guilty if That's one is right. not able to That's give at right. that time. And probably that is one of the major reasons. But on the other hand, uh, let's talk a little bit about Santa Claus, this yes. concept which has been brought oh, and yes. which is associated with this. Uh, how did this concept come up? You know, I smile at it because I grew up in a home that uh, was caught into this uh, whole uh, celebration mindset mm -hmm. of Santa Claus. And um, I remember that we got a tree, mm -hmm. a Yuletide tree, and even the Old Testament talks about a tree. It talks about cutting out a tree and fixing it into a place, but it, it does not have arms and legs, and mm -hmm. we worship the tree. But uh, anyway, 
I remember my mother was telling me, well, you know, Santa Claus is coming. Mm -hmm. And so we bought into this myth of Santa Claus. And so you be good. You know, he, he's checking the list, checking it twice. He's going to bring some gifts. Right. He has a red suit. He's a jolly old guy. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, you got to be good. Right. And uh, I bought into that when I was a young, young younger child. Mm -hmm. And uh, I lived in a very poor area. And it says that Santa Claus, you know, he's got the reindeers. Mm -hmm. And uh, he flies. Okay, and he comes down a chimney. Chimney, yeah. And but he's a big guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, where I grew up, I didn't have no chimney. Okay. So I'm trying to see how did he get in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, I knew I lived in a very rough neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I'm quite sure it was dangerous. But anyway, make a long story short, this is what I discovered. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, Saint Nick goes all the way back to the European, the the, the very Celtics. Mm -hmm. uh, Saint Nicholas. Uh, supposed to have been a saint right. of, the, of, the, of the very Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. um, and I want you to notice something. His red suit, mm -hmm. now, when you study the Bible in the Old Testament, the book of Exodus and, and, and Leviticus, it's talk about priests. Mm -hmm. They have a priest. Okay. The priest has a garment, mm -hmm. okay? And the fact the priests carry a breastplate of 12 uh, uh, different um, type of stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel mm -hmm. and uh, his robe, the way he was garbed. Right. And, 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 and within the sanctuary service, they have, they call the day of atonement. Mm -hmm. That means at tome, it means at one mint. Right. And so that means 364 days a year, they were bringing a sacrifice mm -hmm. and uh, typifying the coming of Christ. But on the 365th day of the year, the priest will go into the second part of this temple mm -hmm. and make an atonement for the, for the children of Israel, right. okay? So that means to intercede between them and God. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it was to cleanse them, okay. you know, symbolically, the animal sacrifice. So now we hear, because everything, there's nothing new under the sun. Here we find a Santa Claus. Right. Christmas, mm -hmm. end of the year, day of atonement time. Mm -hmm. You know, all throughout the year, you're supposed to have been good. Right. Now, you're checking your list, mm -hmm. you know, be sure whoever's good, I'm going to bring my gift. Right. So the priest then is making this intercession. Mm -hmm. Those who have confessed their sin, you know, they're cleansed mm -hmm. and set apart. And the fact is God uh, offered a blessing. Mm -hmm. So Santa Claus become a myth and a type of the fact, here's a person that's supposed to make an atonement. He's watching over you throughout the year. Right. And at the end of the year, he's going to bring his gift. He got his suit on, which mm -hmm. is supposed to be a high priest suit. Yeah. He's driving a rain deal, which is supernatural. Mm -hmm. And so we find then those are what we call myth based on true principles. Right. But now we have commercialized on that. Uh -huh. And so that's deeper history of St. Nick. But Santa Claus, again, is part of the play is to, is to keep young minds mm -hmm. into this mystical myth that if I'm good, I'm going to re be rewarded for right. my good. Right. <laughs> Great. That's yes. interesting. Thank you very right. much for your time. We'll go for a short break, come back sure. and continue with the discussion. Okay. So, I just wish this is a good thing. Christmas is a good thing. We are going to talk about it. 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 Dr. Jackson, who is a meat ministry, who is a good thing in Tennessee, who is a good thing in the USA, who is a good thing in the USA, who is a good thing in the USA. ब्रेक तो बात थोड़े ना गलबात कराएंगे कि ए समा सेलिब्रेशन दा है इस समय बहुत सारी लोका ने पीनी भी है खाना भी है उस दिन आलन किडी चीज़ आते हैं आन रखने दी लोड़े इस ब्रेक तो बात गलबात कर दें